Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out quality control platforms as requested by Hugo B Designer. Easy to medium, welcome back to Aperture Science Quality Control. Today, you'll be testing our automated moving platforms. If it moves, good for science. If not, you may want a new diet. Alright then, that's a bit of an interesting description. Let's go- let's go check things out. Alright, looks like we have a companion cube above a fizzler. And then we have platforms that aren't moving. Which is probably a good thing, because I don't want to get trapped down there, you know. <laughs> we have a portal surface over here and a button that... Ouch! <laughs> well, that's what nine moving platforms sounds like, in case you were wondering. And, uh, you're about to hear that sound again. In fact, you're going to hear it multiple times throughout this playthrough, so let me just warn you. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace headphone users such as myself. <laughs> Alright, what does this do? A temporary panel. Okay, so... We might as well leave a portal here, just for convenience sake. You never know. Let's see, what's around the corner? Uh, more portal surfaces. Got some stuff up here, we have... a cube that drops onto a moving platform. A sideways moving platform. How would we access it, though? Oh, duh. <laughs> Did not even see that. Alright, oh wait. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> Alright, we probably need to use that, right? Except I'm not fast enough because I need to do it like this. I'm an idiot. Alright. Came up here now, and this will... do exactly what I thought it would. Okay. I think we got that covered. I want to need to do that again, apparently. <laughs> to get back... Because we want to put the cube up there, right? Unless... Maybe we just want to put the cube there. There's two ways to get up here, it looks like. But we need both cubes. Does anything disable this? Oh, I guess that's what this is for. Which means I still need to get up there anyway. <laughs> Let's try this again. Made that just in a good time again. Let's get this all the way over there so that we can use it to grab the companion cube. I think that should be good enough. And then we will take you, sir, over here. That. R.I.P. Headphone users, and continue. So now, oh, what was I thinking? Oh, oh, it's just a cube swapping puzzle. All right, cool, cool. Let's see. We want to push uh, that. Now we're up here. We can go get the companion cube to start respawning indefinitely. Ta-da! Caught the companion cube. So now I we'll want to swap it out with the other guy. Get ready, RIP headphone users. Okay, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Alright, so now, I want to put this one in here, because this is the one that we can easily recall. And... This guy can just go up there already. That's... we got our green portal over there, we'll put black here. Put this on the button, RIP headphone users. And then... Run, run, run. 
like a hot dog bun, and we are out. We are good. So now, just put the cube on the button, and then recall the companion cube and put it on the other button. Ouch! Sorry, headphone users. I must apologize again. Alright. So. This is a neat puzzle. Very, very basic in terms of what you actually had to do. But yeah, it was still- it was still a okay puzzle. Cool stuff. Alright, well, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. And you can show your appreciation with the two buttons below this video. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!